So you want to master the button, not a problem. Buttons are like every other UI element, but what makes them special is you can click on them. You can change the background color under appearance, but if you open up style, that is where you can drag in custom designs. Now when you use a custom image, be sure to set the tint to white so that the color is not messed up. If you play your game now, you will see that when you hover the mouse over the button, the image will disappear. And that is because buttons have four modes. The first is default. The second is when your mouse is hovering over them. The third is when you click and the fourth is when the button is disabled. We only replace the image for the default normal mode. But to keep the images the same, we will have to apply that same image to the hovered and pressed modes as well. Now as far as tinting goes, generally you want the tint when you're hovering over it to be a little gray and when it's pressed to be a little bit more gray. If we play the game now, you will see the buttons behave exactly the way you probably expect. If we disable the button, it will start to become transparent and we can no longer interact with it. And down below we have our options for commands we can give the button when it's clicked, pressed, released, hovered, or unhovered over. But we'll get into those in a later video. For now, hope that helps and as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.